At 6, a traumatic collision. A man struck a deer while driving down the interstate in LaGrange. The driver, lucky to have survived. It is a fear that many drivers likely have, and there's for a good reason for this. Yeah, State Farm reports that animal collisions on the roads are up more than 7% this year. CBS 46's Savannah Louie shares this driver's story. Front window shattered, a four-inch hole from an antler flying through the pane when a deer came barreling through Teddy Reese's car on I-85 just south of LaGrange. I turned my head to the side to miss that impact of the airbag, and that's when I saw the deer antler coming through the passenger window. And that was one of the last images that I had before everything just, hell just broke loose in my car. The animal flipped over onto his windshield, crashing into his hood and totaling his car. Dust, the smoke, the airbag in my face. You know, I'm trying to find the steering wheel again because the air black bag blew my hands off. And I was like, you know, I gotta get control of this car. Reese says he walked away lucky. Because as my wife reminds me, you know, we'd rather get you another car than me having to put you six feet on the ground. This time of year, bucks are making huge movements looking for does um, to breed with. Um, so we see a lot of extra deer activity this time of year. The Georgia Department of Natural Resources says drivers must stay vigilant through January as the pandemic and emptier roads could be behind an increase in dangerous conditions. State Farm citing higher speeds as a factor behind staggering animal collision statistics and the recent increase. You know, when you're cruising down the highway at 70 miles per hour, you just don't expect anything to jot in your path. The split second accident now a life changing warning. I get a little anxiety. And when I see the deer caucuses on the side of the road, I just think that some other family has experienced what I experienced that night. Be extra careful when you see those yellow deer crossing signs. That's a sign that a deer collision has already happened in that area. Also, be extra cautious around sunrise and sunset. And if you see one deer, well, you want to keep an eye open because usually deer tend to travel in packs. Reporting from LaGrange, Troop County, Savannah Louis, CBS 46 News.